All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our tropical forest where we are celebrating World Gorilla Day with all of our gorillas here. So we have a very special uh, zoo to you today because we have our beekeeper Maggie doing a training uh, with little Joe, one of our male gorillas. So if we want to come on over, we'll take a good look at what he is up to. So you can see that Maggie's using a mix of um, words that you obviously won't hear <laughs> and um, some hand signals as well uh, so that helps really communicate what she's expecting so she's asking him to turn around and she can poke his back with a stick um, this is really helpful for doing any kind of exams uh, with our gorillas so if we ever needed to give them any kind of uh, shots for anything or if we just wanted to you know, be able to feel their bodies to check how they're doing. It's really helpful to be able to do that just through this mesh barrier and without having to anesthetize them because that can cause a little bit of stress. So Joe here, he's really great at training. He responds very well to food. And now he's putting his hands up, which helps Maggie get a look at those hands and get a look at the front of his body and his arms to see how he's doing. And it looks like he is getting some banana as a reward this morning. And I think I see some melon in there too. So different fruits are going to be really rewarding for them because they have all that sugar in them. So it's almost like, like candy. <laughs> and as you're walking around the tropical forest building this morning, you'll see they have a lot of food out here already in their exhibits. They have lots of greens. They have some oatmeal in there as well. And they'll spend the morning going around foraging for all those different foods. Um, he just showed off his stand behavior <laughs> where we get a really good look at his whole body. Um, so we can see if he has you know, any wounds. Now he's opening his mouth so we can check his teeth, make sure they're all healthy. So all of these behaviors that the keepers work to train the animals on, it's all to help take care of the animal and help the animal participate in their own health care. So they get to choose to do these things in exchange for uh, some kind of reward. And that helps their checkups and keeping them healthy go much, much easier. <laughs> so as I mentioned, we are celebrating World Gorilla Day and we're also celebrating um, the end of our Gorillas on the Line campaign. So you may have heard this talked about in other zoo to use. You may have heard us talk about it if you come to the zoo. Uh, so Gorillas on the Line, it's a global campaign um, where zoos and aquariums, we try and rally people to donate their old cell phones. And here at the zoo, we take other electronics as well. We do all sorts of electronics recycling. And the goal is to get 15,000 cell phones between all the participating zoos. So the reason that we want to recycle these electronics is because it actually helps gorillas. We don't always think about it, but anytime you're holding a phone or a tablet, like what you might be watching this video on right now, or if you have a smartwatch or use any chargers or adapters, all of those contain uh, precious metals and minerals and one called coltan. And those are found in the same habitat where gorillas live. And of course, with mining, you know, you have to take up a lot of land. You have to keep mining and expanding that land that you're using, uh, which forces gorillas out of their habitat. So when they get forced out of their habitat, <laughs> they go into the habitat of other gorillas. So it doesn't just hurt the ones that are losing their habitat, but it also hurts the other ones. Um, whose habitat they're going into. And that is why Western lowland gorillas, like little Joe here, are critically endangered. So by doing things like recycling your cell phone or other electronics, it helps prevent some of that need for mining, uh, which means that we can save more of their habitat and give them a place to live out in nature. So you get to see that he got his hands checked, his front, his back checked, his teeth checked. You just saw he put his feet up to get checked. And then he just put his ears up towards Maggie to get checked. So we can really do 
a full body exam, <laughs> including that tongue, even uh, just through a mesh like this without him having to go under any stress to go all the way to the hospital or go under anesthesia. <laughs> so this makes his life a lot easier and it makes the keeper's lives a lot easier. And of course the vets too. It can be kind of stressful to give a gorilla a full exam under anesthesia. So to be able to just do this right here makes it much, much easier. Katie is asking, what is Little Joe getting as a reward, and what are his favorite treats? Oh, so it looks like he is getting some banana and some melon. So anything really sweet like that is going to be one of his favorites. He seems to respond very, very well to the banana this morning. <laughs> Ooh, yes, so we have some boxes set up uh, next to our gorilla exhibit here and then we have another one up at Stone Zoo and they are kind of drop boxes where you can put some uh, old electronics or chargers or anything that you want to recycle and you can also bring it just to our, uh, our community resource center here at Franklin Park Zoo too. And next year when the Gorillas on the Line campaign comes back, um, you can get involved in it. So you can set up your own collection box, either at work or school. Um, you can spread the word to all the communities that you're a part of and hopefully get some more electronics recycled. <laughs> so now we have Kambiri, one of our other Gorillas, coming over. <laughs> and today we have most of the family out, so you'll see Kambiri, who is our oldest sister that we have here. Um, her younger sister, Aziza, is also out, and her younger brother, Pablo, um, whose birthday is actually coming up in October, which is very exciting. And so he is over with mom somewhere else in the exhibit. So if you come today, you'll see all of those gorillas. <laughs> it looks like maybe Kambiri was trying to get some training in, but unfortunately Maggie does not have enough rewards left. <laughs> Do you have any other questions about our gorillas? Who our oldest gorilla? It's a good question. It's either Kit or Kiki. They're both around 40 years old, um, which is pretty old for a western lowland gorilla. They usually live to about 35 years. Um, but of course, here at the zoo, they have very good food and health care and a very protected habitat. Um, so they can live a little bit older, up to like upper 40s. <laughs> yeah, so we'll quickly show our um, Dropbox for any kind of electronics that you may want to recycle. It looks like this. It's beautiful and it has some more information on what can be recycled um, and a little bit more about why we recycle electronics too. So if you want to get involved, you can check out our website, you can come visit this box right here, <laughs> and there's plenty of information there about how to get involved in our electronics recycling program. All right, well, thank you guys for meeting our gorillas and watching Little Joe train this morning, and I hope to see you guys at the zoo very soon.